How's it going everyone? My name's Spenny, and I'm back with another video. Today we're going to be talking about why Robo is so expensive. So, let's get right into it. You guys, I'm going to say most of you probably know kind of why he's expensive and why he's so sought after, but maybe not in depth, so that's what I'm going to be telling you today. So Robo is by far the most expensive Skylander we have today, if we're talking about just normal releases. So Robo came in a pack of three things, it came with Robo. It came with a blue chest, and it came with a magic crystal. So those three things, I believe you could get a magic crystal anywhere, but the blue chest and Robo, you can only get them in this pack. So basically, when Imaginators came out, like it was already, Skylanders was on the back burner pretty much. They were getting out of style, I guess. People weren't paying for the prices of the figures and they were sitting on shelves. And what I'm thinking is because it was a three pack and it wasn't like a three figure pack, it probably was, it cost a bit more. So people are less likely to buy that, right? But then on top of that, you have the figures are falling out of style, essentially. And what people did, no one bought them, right? So there was no stock being reinforced. So they probably made like one wave of like most Imaginators, the ones like the starters, obviously more, but like the figures themselves, they probably made like one wave, one or two waves, and then that's it, because no one was buying them. So now there's a higher demand, and they didn't produce this many, because they stopped. Like, what's the point in making stock if it's just going to sit on shelves and then end up at the Dollarama, which is what like Swap Force figures in box? They're at like dollar stores, they're just popping up here and there, just because they have so many. If you think about like any of the vehicles from Superchargers, they are all like pretty cheap to find, and you'll find them at like thrift stores a lot. So yeah, basically, Robo is expensive because no one bought him in the first place, there was no demand for him, so they didn't produce more, and now people are getting back into Skylanders and there is none to go around because they didn't make any more. So that's the problem. We'll probably never get cheap Robos because there's always going to be a demand for him. Unless somehow magically Toys for Bob and Activision start producing old characters, we're probably not going to see the price go down ever. So. That's all I have for you guys today. Thank you guys for watching. If you like content like this, please be sure to subscribe, like, and comment, and let me know what you think. And I'll see you in the next one.